Hi there, I'm painting a little winter scene today and this is the sketch I'll be working from. If you want to paint along, these are the colours you'll need. Cerulean blue, yellow ochre, black, ultramarine, titanium white and cadmium yellow. So let's get started. Mix up a muted yellow for the cottage. Yellow ochre and a little black. I'm just starting about a third of the way up the board. And this bit is going to be the back of the house and the chimney. I feel it's important to spend a little time getting the cottage just right. Then you can build up a, a nice winter landscape around it. Alright, that's a good start. Give it a wee blast with a hairdryer and we're ready to paint in the sky. It's a dark winter's night so we want a fairly dark sky. Mix a little black into the cerulean blue. I usually just dry brush the paint on and work quickly across the board. Alright, now I pick up some white. Add a little more white to the mix. I'm painting this on a piece of hardboard um, which I cut the size to fit into my picture frame and it's just primed with some off-white emulsion. I never really use water when I'm painting. The only time would be when I'm washing the brushes. I just got into the way of dry brushing the paint on and it sort of stuck with me. Just tidying up the sky now using the same darker mix as before. Another wee blast for the hairdryer and we'll get back to work in the cottage. Mix up some yellow ochre and black again with a little white to lighten. As you can see I've already went ahead and lightened the front of the chimney stack. Just doing the front bit now. This makes the cottage look a wee bit more three-dimensional. I imagine if a little gnome was to build himself a cottage that this would be just the kind of design you choose. I imagine that it would be made of large sandstone bricks shaped by a hammer and chisel the old-fashioned way. I've just noticed I've made a, a little streak on the board here. I'll have to paint over that. There I've covered it over with some cerulean blue and a little white and it seems they've added a nice colour to the lower sky as well.
There we go, that looks alright. So back to the cottage again. Mixing up a shadow colour now, yellow ochre and black. Let's give our little gnome a nice Inglenook porch. Okay, using the same colour, I'm putting in the pointing now for the little archway bricks. Alright, moving along, it's time to paint in a back hedge now for the little gnome's garden. For this, I'm just adding a little black to the cerulean blue. Just begin by tapping the paint on very, very lightly. We want really just to create an indication of a hedge here. So we've got a little hilly bit going up behind the cottage here. That's it, that looks good. Time to paint in a rickety old garden gate. I'm just using the same colour as I used for the hedge. Some indications of an old fence now. All right, let's put a snowy roof on our cottage. When you're doing this, try to imagine what way the snow would fall and pile up on top of the roof. There, that's a nice pile of snow stacked up against the chimney. Adding some shadows in the snow. For this I'm using some of the light blue and black mix from earlier on. I'm grabbing my round bristle brush now to scumble in the mid-ground snow. So I've got some paint on my brush and I'm starting around about the middle. When you spread the paint outwards like this, the, it becomes thinner and then blends in with the paint that's underneath.
That's a nice big snow drift. I like that. There, that snow's nice and fluffy looking. Let's put some windows in the cottage now. I want to make this cottage as interesting and quirky as possible, so I think I'll put a wee window over the side here. Okay, that's a good start on the windows. So let's put in a big old door. Ultramarine blue and a little white. So I'm adding another layer of paint now for the windows using cadmium yellow. And I'm using black on my fine liner brush to paint in the window frames. Snow on the window sills. I want a dark mix of blue and black now for the bushes and trees growing around the back of the cottage. Well, there seems to be all sorts of things growing wild around the back here. I'm going to paint in a little hedge now. Just mix a little black into the cerulean blue.
Okay, let's paint in a big old tree on this side to balance the painting. And let's give it plenty of character, with everything all gnarled and twisted looking. I'm just basically using the same yellow ochre and black mix that we used for the cottage. I've moved on to a thin liner brush now for the thinner branches. Love painting these old rickety fences. I want this one to look as if it's been here for years, battered by the wind, the rain, and the winter snowstorms, but it still seems to be hanging together. Black now for the chimney pots. Another little hedge on this side. I think we'll put a little shadow in the porch, just where the snow is piled up against the door. Cerulean blue, a little black and white. I'm just highlighting some of the areas on the, the tree here. That's yellow ochre, a little black and white. So to start the chimney smoke, I've used a mix of blue, a little black and white. I'm 
Then I'll go along and highlight the smoke that's close to the chimney pots with white. So it started snowing again and all the little snowflakes are being carried across the garden in the wind. Well, I think this painting is just about finished now. I hope you've enjoyed it and have given you some tips and ideas for your own paintings. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more snowy art. Thanks for watching and happy painting.